Okay, so what I got is I got Micronathia or I got Trismus. I've had a case involving this in which I placed a supraglottic airway using this because what I had to do is go into the mouth behind the molars, run into the front of the mouth, push the tongue and jaw down and put the supraglottic in. It does work. I've done it. And I did it with the standard Yankower that's really flimsy, by the way. I didn't have this. So what I'm going to do now is I've got a problem inserting this blade, so I'm going to make a fist, and I'm actually going to hold the extremity pretty much locked to my body, and I'm just going to kind of lean forward to, so that the space opens up, okay? You can let go now, right? Um, uh, yeah, sure. Right? Yeah. I have decontaminated the hypopharynx pretty well. Two more pumps. Oh, yeah, there's more in there. It really upsets me. <laughs> so, I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to salad park it to the left. We're going to do this with our channel video on this as well. And I'm going to do something really bad. I'm going to crowd the right corner of my mouth so I can't get the tube in. So if you're using the curved blade video ring scopes, which you're not, which you won't, I'm going to show it to you anyway in case you guys get your hands on a glide scope somewhere. Like, let's say that you guys get called into action by the new Space Force uh, or something like this. You'll be handed glide scopes or super glide scopes. This is the mistake you can make where you can't intubate. You can't intubate this. There's no room for tube delivery. This is where the salad poke comes in. The salad poke not only creates the space for tube delivery, but it also is a modification of me grabbing the laryngoscope and actually so that I can move it in and out. I want you everybody to watch the screen. See how I can move it in and out? <clears throat> it's very difficult for me to move it in and out with the left hand because when you lift something as heavy as that gallon of windshield wiper fluid, you can't make small changes. This right hand can make the tiny, I'm going to screw this up so badly it's amazing. You see, isn't that the great view of the larynx? I can't intubate that because I've crowded the larynx and there's no room for tube delivery. So what I would need to do is pinch the delivering the scope, keep holding this with a little bit less tension and back it out with the right two pincer fingers, okay? This is how you're going to handle these video laryngoscopes. 